Um, you guys have managed to be a, a really key part of the Ann Arbor music scene for a number of years now. You know, one of the most popular local bands. Uh, what do you What do you think of the health of Ann Arbor Ypsilanti music right now? I'd say that our job is nearly done. <laughs> because it's really healthy now. When we first started out, it was pretty much a small selection of very slow, sad music being played in all the nightclubs around here, which was cool if you're into slow, sad music. But we found that there was a need for people to start celebrating and dancing, and right around that time, the Ragbirds were coming up. The Ragbirds have been tearing it up. Our friends Function started a band out in Kalamazoo. It's a total sweet funk band. I mean, we know a lot of bands around here that are all getting really successful, and uh, there's a lot of young cats that are uh, chomping at the bit now, too, so it's, we're able to sit back a little bit. I mean, Top of the Park is blown up, Sonic Lunch is blown up, Mayor Hathorne, our friends, uh, our friend Drew from Ann Arbor uh, is like a super celebrity now, and he's playing at uh, Sonic Lunch, so that's great. And uh, I mean, so there's a lot of, you see a lot of people just giving back to the city and a lot of young kids basically, because everyone's been giving back for so long, it's really easy for the young music scene to, uh, you know, pick up a lot of slack because there's a lot of great resources here, you know, like we have. People are, yeah, people are preserving uh, and creating culture and, you know, that, uh, yeah. that brings us all together. That's just, and we're not giving that up, you know. We need another 350 person rock club in town. <laughs> and then we'll be set. Nice. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, Nine o'clock Friday, top of the park, Mac Pods. Don't miss it.